Country Craft Corner. How you guys doing today? I hope all is well with everyone. And I hope y'all are having a great weekend. Of course, I'm talking to you on Sunday afternoon, but y'all won't probably see this till Monday. Uh, but I'm coming to you today to make a wreath. What? A fall wreath. What? I said I wasn't going to make a fall wreath. I fibbed. <laughs> I didn't know I was fibbing at the time. Excuse my hair. First off, before we go any further, I get my hair trimmed and colored up this week. Can y'all tell? It is a hot mess. So, please pardon my hair. <laughs> but anyway, I have had this grapevine wreath hanging in my garage forever. And it is huge. It is very large. I'm no small thing. And it is very large. And I picked it out. I remember, I don't even know. I think I wanted to make a generic or a cozy country <laughs> wreath with this. But then I thought, you know, this sign, it's been calling me. It has been calling me. And yes, I could sit this on a shelf. And yes, I could, uh, you know, put it somewhere in the house. But I just, I think it's begging to be on a wreath. Watch out. So, this sign is going to go on this, and I'm going to make a, quote, funky, or, quote, Terry bow. I am in a wreath group on Facebook, and they have told me that the bow I make is really a Terry bow. I don't know who Terry is. I don't know her. Uh, I'd like to say hi to Terry, though. Hi, Terry. <laughs> and I'm glad you figured out a way to make this spiffy bow. Uh, but so I don't know what to call this bow other than just a bow with many different ribbons in it so that's the kind of bow I'm going to be making for on this wreath and I'm just going to be using materials that I have here I haven't gone downstairs even to to look into my uh, bins that I have downstairs I had just gotten that bunch of flowers from AC Moore a while back and so I thought I would try to use these. I've got some pip berries and you know, and I pillaged and plundered from these for other, other projects. So, but I am going to use these and uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, pumpkin garland on it too. So, and I'm not going to go all the way around with the, with the accent pieces. I think I'll just go three quarters of the way around and maybe put the sign kind of cattywamp in there. We'll see. I'm not sure how I'll come up, uh, what I'll do. But I know I want the bow, you know, as I always do on the left-hand side. Regardless, <laughs> that's what I'm going to be trying to do today. I don't know how to look when it's done. I haven't made a grapevine wreath in a long, long time. Uh... And if I'm honest, what gave me the idea to do this on a grapevine wreath was, again, Kim at Sweet Daisy Creations. Hi, Kim. <laughs> she just put a beautiful wreath with this sign. I got to give credit where credit is due, where I got my idea from. Uh, with this sign, she put up a beautiful uh, fall grapevine wreath. So in the same wreath uh, group that we're both in on Facebook. So... That's where I got the idea. Mine will look different than hers, of course, because she and I create differently and do different things. So, but that's where I got the idea. And I thought when I saw that, and I saw that she had done it on a grapevine wreath, I was like, I have a grapevine wreath hanging out in my garage. Poor thing is probably dusty, y'all. It's been out there like before. And look, it's got dog hair on it. Isn't that pretty? Oh, yeah. So I might do a little cleaning up this wreath first. But anyway, I'm going to turn my camera around and point it down, and we're going to do the Funky Terry bow, <laughs> the Arlen bow, the I don't know what bow first. I'll be right back. Okie dokie, I'm back, and I need to take my jacket off because I'm dying in here, you guys. We were out and about this morning, and it was actually quite pretty here in Virginia, but I think it's getting a little warm now. So, first thing I want to do, I know I want three loops of each kind of ribbon. These are the three ribbons I'm going to be using. 
I have no idea where I'm going to hang this wreath yet, but I'll figure it out. So I need three lengths of 30 of each type of ribbon. Alrighty. Now, just like I have with the, every other of this kind of bow that I've made as of late, I go to 10 and then to 20 because I want 10 inch tails. Pull them together, which gives me a 5 inch, hopefully, just about loop. And then you twist it and pull the right side up. Now I'm going to do three loops going in the same direction and then I'm going to turn it and do three loops going in the other direction. So 10 and 10, which makes a five inch loop. Pinch it together and I kind of pinch them and then turn this to the right side. Just like if you sew, you need to bring your right sides together, right side up, just like that. And I kind of pinch them kind of beside one another. But they can go any direction. It doesn't have to be beside one another. And mine will end up being piled pretty much on top of one another. 10 and then 20. Trust me on that and then twist to bring the right side up. This time, come on now, cooperate. I'm gonna put, do it this way. I also have a haul to do for you guys later. Not in this video, but in another one this week. Not a very big one. I went to end that this morning. Picked up a few things. My thing major 10, 20. Go this away. I take a pipe cleaner and take it take it to about the center of the pipe cleaner put that under your thumb and then wrap it on around and twist and there we go and of course as I always do I'll fiddle around with it a little bit here but I do more manipulating with the bow once I get it on the wreath. Some of the tails go one direction, some of the tails go the other direction. Never the twain shall meet, <laughs> which is not true. Sometimes they do. It's just a matter of fiddling around with it and getting it to go the way you want it to go. 
and kind of want to set this aside for a minute or for a little while and I'm going to go ahead and do my wreath this direction I think today for you guys I got to plug in my nasty old hot glue gun but look what I have set up here hello and we got that all ready to go Gosh, the tag even looks old. <laughs> it has been hanging out there. I, you know, I can't tell you how long. At least a year. But I think I'm going to start with... My pumpkin garland. I got this at Hobby Lobby. I got the grapevine wreath at Hobby Lobby last year whenever I got it and I know I used a coupon to buy it I don't think that these go on sale an awful lot so all I'm going to be doing is literally gluing this on and I want to kind of position it so that I can give me a hole for my bow pointed this direction all right now we gotta move this hot glue gun over my direction have to say you guys i'm a little weary of it It really burned me the last time. I'm gonna put my little silicone finger tips on. And I'm hopefully just gonna use, this is the hand I burned it with, but because I was going across my body. So I'm hopefully I will just be using this as my trigger hand, so to speak. You ready? Yeah, it's good and hot. All right, here we go. Wish me luck, you guys. Okay, now, the bow is gonna go there, obviously. But what I would like to do is bring some more of that ribbon through the design. Now, the question is, do I wanna put my flowers on first and then loop the, bows, the, the ribbon in? I think I do. I think I would rather put the, what I wanna do with these in first. Fine on too. I think I'll need these for this part because I'm just going to be placing these. Get the bow on first. I do need to do that. And I'm just going to kind of weave it through some of the upper. grapevine. Let's see if you can see that. I just kind of weaved it underneath like the grapevines that were on the top and actually through the through the uh, garland, the pumpkin garland that I just put on. All right. Now, I want this to kind of come this direction, but I want some of them to be longer. So it can come on around. Got to go up there. You know what? I'm 
just going to start poking them in instead of trying to leave them in a grouping. Oops, help to take the price tag. Now's the time when I wish I had more. And yes, I wait until I'm done placing everything, and that's when I start gluing. Pull it around here a little bit, see if I can do something with the top here. very quiet. Can y'all tell I haven't done one of these in a while, so I'm kind of experimenting here. Yes. Let go. Let go. I still have some left. Wow, maybe I'll get away with this after all. I was a little worried there for a little bit. <laughs> I might not have enough. As y'all know me, I like my wreaths full and pretty and big. But, looks like I'm gonna do all right here, hopefully. how I like to work quick too. I'm not a not a very patient crafter sometimes and I know this about myself. That's why I burned myself you guys. It's because I'm just I'm not very patient and I want things to come together quickly. 
And if they don't, I'm like, no, go together quick. Once I get it in my mind's eye, I want it to come to fruition, you know. I have a few more little doodads here. Might as well use them all, huh? over there don't have anything over there so that's about all I have for flowers and accent pieces and I like the way it's looking now I'm there you guys off. I've decided trying to figure out, I haven't even glued up there yet but I'm trying to figure out how to put this sign on first so I've decided to, I'm going to try it with a, with a uh, tie wrap instead of a pipe cleaner so that I can tie this, zip it, zip tie it on. So I'm going to do that there. I think I want one down here too. Let this dry while I Hey y'all, I'm back. Dogs are plugging my phone in here. Excuse that. Uh, my dogs are fed and while I was feeding them, <laughs> I came up with another idea of something that I want to add to this wreath. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut, I had already cut uh, a couple of tails when I had another idea, but I just came up with another idea. So I need four lengths of 20 of each of my ribbons and I will explain why when I get them cut. See what I went and retrieved out of my garage? My little balls that I bought to anchor some corners. Well, it's going to be anchoring. These are going to be anchoring this wreath. Actually, I only needed three tufts. Oh, well. First one is going to be glued right in the center of the bow. And then I thought what I would do is make a tuft of each ribbon, glue that in, I might end up cutting them down a little bit, and then gluing the ball up on top of them. Yeah, they're going to need to be cut down, aren't they? Woo, they're too long. Goodness gracious. Hmm. See, this is how you learn, though. This is how you learn. Well, I may put them on and then cut them down. I'm going to fold these in half, kind of right sides together. I'm going to go up about, what is that, about an inch and a half. I'm going to No, 
not sure exactly. where I want these yet. All right, we're gonna go with that. I'm not gluing anything down until I get it all situated. And right sides together, fold them up and come over here. Go up about an inch and a half. I'm liking this. Yes, indeed, I think I'm liking it. I'm going to glue this down. Now I need to let that sit for a little while and then I'll get it up on my easel. I don't even know it'll fit on my easel, you guys. This thing's huge. I don't know. I don't think I thought I was going to need more in here, but I think if I mess around with this a little bit, it'll I'll get it to looking all right. So I will be back once I get this up on my easel and give you a few final words here. But I did something totally different than I thought I was going to do with this wreath. <laughs> so I'll be back in a little bit. Okie dokie, everyone. I'm back. <laughs> and in the midst of cleaning up and putting this up on my easel, I just was not happy with it, you guys. I wasn't happy with its lack of fullness. So I actually went down in my basement and I'm fixing to glue this on. And it is nothing but a you know, one of those leaf guard ones that you get, they're not very expensive, from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. And I'm gonna glue that around the edge, and that makes me feel better. So, I think, I don't know, I'm still tweaking. I'm still working at it and tweaking it. I'll be back. <laughs> Okie dokie everybody, I'm back, finally. Woo, I'm telling you. It's been a while since I made a uh, grapevine wreath. It really has. It's probably been, oh, I don't know, maybe three years, three or four years. Honestly, I've been concentrating on, you know, more of my burlap wreaths and deco trees and things like that. So <laughs> this grapevine, as I said, this has been sitting in my garage for well over a year, the grapevine wreath form and I've been procrastinating. 
So today I bit the bullet and went ahead and I am very happy. Finally, though, you guys, I tweaked at this a good bit, you know. Finally got it to look the way I wanted it to look. Incorporating the sign. I ended up incorporating, let me pull this up. Remember those uh, more muted color pumpkin picks that I got the other day? I ended up incorporating them there's four of them in this wreath around. And then I ended up, like I said, putting the, gar the, the leaf garland around, which was no big deal. I just tacked it on with hot glue using my pretty little, you know, my pretty little pink tools. And I just put a little hot glue and held it. Put a little hot glue and held it. Y'all didn't need to sit through that. <laughs> so, and I'm gonna call this done. I have not put a hanger on the back of this yet. But what I normally do is take a pipe cleaner and loop it, make a loop, and just hot glue it on. This actually will go on my wreath hangers, the over-the-door wreath hangers that I get from Grandin Road. I'll put a link in the description down there for you guys. I don't need to put anything on the back of this because I have those all over my doors. <laughs> so they're good and heavy and sturdy, and it will hold this. The way this wreath is, it'll snug right down on there. So... I'm not going to worry about putting one on this. That's why I didn't do it. So, anyway, I'm very happy with this. I got my creative juices flowing today for sure. I was texting with Kim over there at Sweet Daisy Creations. I'm like, Kim, oh my gosh, it's been forever since I made a, a grapevine wreath. I hope I'm going to do this justice. And she was encouraging me. She's so sweet. <laughs> so, see, you guys, even I question myself. And I've been crafting for 30 many years so never be afraid to try new things please please never be afraid you know what's the worst that could happen you know I just added stuff to this thing until I liked how it looked and I'm very happy with it and it's huge it is huge let me measure this thing by the way for you guys I don't even know good lord it's probably 34 inches tall by about 25 inches wide. It's huge. What can I say? My goodness. So I might use this for my front door wreath. I'm not sure. This would make a beautiful statement on my front door. I already have a burlap wreath for out there. Or Chris said it would be pretty hanging in the family room on that door where I was going to put the wreath with the owl on it which I could put on the garage door so I've got wreaths of plenty around here trust me <laughs> so but anyway in the end this worked out with adding the the spheres from Hobby Lobby I don't even want to add up though how much this thing probably cost to make I used all materials that I've already purchased this year plus I went in my basement and got that uh, garland I don't even know I would estimate it cost me probably wreath frame and all every bit of $50 to make. And if I was going to sell something, like, I've seen these on wreaths like this on sale just recently in Michael's for $250, you guys. You know, it, it's crazy. So make it yourself. Go get the stuff. Follow my lead if you want. <laughs> Have confidence in yourself and try it. Just try it. You might surprise yourself. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for this time. So I'm just gonna say, until next time, you guys take good care. Bye-bye.